Use the JPI. Mixture, you know how to use the JPI? This one? Yeah. Now, what, what's yep. the temperature you, you go for? It, it, it tells you. So go mixture full rich. Cruise. Let's get it back to 2,000. It'll only work at. You, you always want to make it where you're straight and level. So get yourself trimmed out, straight and level. Set your power setting. Get yourself on course and just have it trimmed out. Let me know when you get when it, when you get it nice and stable. What you're going to do is you're going to end up hitting the lean fine button, which is on the right side. Then you're going to slowly bring that mixture out. You're moving it about a little bit, like a sixteenth of an inch every five seconds. So it's just very slow. And then it's going to flash. You're going to say leanest. There you go. Lean state. You see how it's flashing? Yep. That's all you got to do. Take the controls for a second. Yep, my controls. Change the classes here. Yep. I went and uh, got, I went to the optometrist the other day and got the, uh, like a set of aviators uh -huh. for nighttime because the problem with these is that I had to wear them like way down on my nose, so I got like bifocal ones. Right, right. So I had to fly like this whole, the whole night flight like, oh, uh, that's painful. My control. Your controls. Alright, cruise ca checklist power. Okay, Sears uh, good. Trim is set and fuel pump is off. Right. Questions on that lean find? No. That's pretty straightforward. Sure just hit the lean find. But if you if you do the mixture too quick, it's, it it'll throw it off. It's, it does. It really wants you to do it very little bit at a time. So about one sixteenth of an inch, whatever that ends up being, about every five seconds. Essentially, you're you're letting the instrument catch up and actually sense the difference in the temperature of your EGT. Once it's able to calculate and find out what your leanest cylinder is, it'll flash, it'll say lean set, and then you're good. How pretty Philly looks sunset. Hey, you can actually see the uh, skyline there. Contact New York approach, one, two, eight point five five, have a good night. Let's do a couple clearing turns, we'll knock out a steep turn or two.
Back up to 2002. Roger. Number three, Romeo Mike, contact New York approach on 128.55. Have a good night. Uh, this is the three minute mic. We've just, uh, we're just going to cancel flight following. Um, squat VFR and uh, frequency change approved. Radar service terminated. Squat VFR, frequency change approved. Have a good night. This is the three minute mic. Good night. McGuire approach, Sheriff 561, now do it. Level 7400, restricted 7500 VFR below. 561 Delta Juliet McGuire approach. The McGuire altimeter is uh, 3034. And you said you were on an altitude restriction? 3034, affirmative. You had me stop, uh, stay below VFR 75 or below. Roger, did you want higher? Uh, affirmative. Uh, I'll go up 9500 to stay out of everybody's way. And what's the. Uh, I'm seeing some traffic over here at the same altitude. You're heading for your destination. Roger. I don't want to go that way now. Okay. Zero one seven. Back on course. Number 11322 McGuire approach to McGuire altimeter 3034. Uh, state type aircraft and destination. 3034, 7 going to Teterboro, New York. 322, Roger. Number 1 Delta Juliet, climb to a 9500 first. Climb 9500, 1 Delta Juliet. Oh, that's my reservoir. I run that reservoir all the time. See? Yeah. When the weather's nice, I need to start running it again. Do you prefer the cool temperature to run? Ah, it doesn't bother me. I'm not a big fan of running. I never was either, but I, I, that place challenged me a lot. Do the uh, dirt trails or the is it? That's all paved. gravel. Yeah. It's all paved, yeah. Like uh, they call it pack. It's quarter inch gravel with like stone dust mixed in. Gotcha. How many miles is it? Five point one. That's a good run. Uh, somebody's got a chimney going. Like they actually got a nice bonfire going. See it from all the way up here. Approaching 2000. Roger. Upon reaching 2000, we'll do uh, some steep turns. Okay. Is in 45? Yeah, 45 degree turns. Okay. Over there. Which direction do you like? Uh, your choice. Usually we do it to the left first because that's your side. But if you have the option, if there's any traffic over there, then we'll do one to the right, then to the left. Let's see some. Uh Traffic over here, if you're far. All right, we'll do it to the right. Uh, he's turning our way now. Great. All right, so we'll keep going straight. Get out of the way for a little bit. He's like kind of behind us. Oh, well, there's just that yeah, light over there. See it right there. Well. And at last quarter, Bloomberg Money Watch, 26 and 56 hey, past every hour. I'm Andrew O'Day. Now I'm showing somebody here. I'm here with Dr. Glenn Gedgerman, the funny. medical director of tomotherapy at the John Therese Cancer Center at Hackensack what? University Medical this one Center. No tail number, though. It's on the left. I think that's a, that light that's just above the horizon out there. I see it. Like on the middle of the wing tip, just above the horizon. Helicopter or something. What's the airspeed? Does it tell you? No. Good. Unknown. Three miles northeast. Seventy-two knots. Seventy-two knots. ADSB. He's got. It could. It could be a uh, helicopter. Alright. Well, well, we'll do. Two turns here. Works. 
Thanks for me. Air is clear. bit of left rudder. It is a little bit more back elevator pressure there. Five degrees of pitch is what's needed to hold that 45 degrees of bank with this uh, with this airplane. As you roll 30, you did the right thing with the power, you just needed a little bit more back elevator pressure in there. Okay. We'll try it again. We'll get back to 2000. Just slowly pitch the call, uh, airplane up. Always set your heading bug so you know what heading you're rolling out. It'll make it easy on you. How do you do that? Uh, hold down the knob there for two seconds, and it'll basically center to whatever your current heading is. Yeah. Unless you want a specific one, then from there, twist it to whatever you want. I guess that's seaside. I mean, you could use seaside. You got 2000, you got 170 on the heading. Always call those things out. Right. It'll help you kind of remember. Alright, let's do it. Alright. There it is, 30 degrees, a little bit of power, holding the pitch right at 5 degrees. Keep applying that back elevator pressure. Hold it, hold it there at 5 degrees.